Hello, my name is Always Me T, and welcome to my channel. So, I wanted to talk about job hunting because I wanted to talk about job hunting. But, <laughs> no, but like mostly it's just, I mean, job hunting sucks. Job hunting sucks. We all know it. It is something that we all have to go through unless, you know, you're either too sick to do it or I don't know you have some other circumstances going on I mean you could be like someone that I know where her parents are like no don't get a job they were so disappointed when she got a j her first ever job before she only worked there for like two months I mean I wouldn't be complaining it's not like <laughs> I mean I don't know. like just focus on school whatever <laughs> But it's stressful. It's stressful sometimes. It seems like there are times where I can pick up jobs left and right. And other times I'm getting no fair play at all. I'm getting no callbacks. Nothing. <sighs> Lovely. <laughs> the funny thing is, I have tons of experience. I mean, on my resume, I take off plenty of things due to I'd rather not have a bunch of one shift experiences you know I think that almost it's like a double-edged sword when it comes to that it's like oh yeah you have so much experience but then why do you have so much jo so many jobs within like I mean legally speaking okay as far as the IRS counts it I've been working on paper since I was 17 I was a bit of a late starter on that but that that's like a whole nother just long tedious story <laughs> just like uh no but it's it's speaking of tediousness it's just tedious to write all that stuff down and it's not worth my time unless i'm going for a specific job but it's just like the constant like searching for jobs that are worth your time you know it's just uh, Maybe because I don't like job hunting. I mean, I kind of, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm kind of masochistic. I kind of enjoy job hunting a little bit sometimes. Like, when I'm in the mood, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get this job. This is going to be great. Like, I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to get this money. Or I need some benefits. Like, come on. Health insurance is high as heck. <laughs> oh, my God. So high. <laughs> I need vision and I need dental like oh my god somebody please but I never wanted to do full-time that was like my problem this go round of just like having to find a job where it's just like oh we want you to do I'm like no no absolutely not and then I have like a specific schedule I want to do because I don't want to work that many fucking days I I'm really trying to stop cussing but like oh well like, I don't want to work that many days. I it, It's just, it's too much, to be honest. Like, they'll try to work me like a workhorse. And I already, I learned my lesson on that from my first beginning few jobs. Like, I just need something that will be good for my schedule. I get off at a decent time because I don't have a car. <laughs> and you know what? Where I live now... The bus system is trash. Like, I used to ride the metro all the time. Like, oh, you'll catch me on the bus. You'll catch me on a trolley. Like, you'll, you'll catch me, like, on some type of public transportation. You know what I mean? Because it was so fast. And, you know, it had its problems, obviously. It's public transportation. You got to ride it with everybody else. But at least I could go places. I could go up and down my state. No matter what. It, it, was, it wasn't even that hard. But... I digress I digress but like job hunting though it's just like I needed to be something decent everything away everything is like 30 something minutes away so it's like regardless this is gonna be kind of far I gotta factor in I'm trying to save and try to get myself together it's just plus I feel like I've been just I don't know I've been working here and there but it's just like I haven't had I like to see I like to have like a at least like a regular part-time gig like steady gig and then I'll just do extra stuff like in between all of that you know I gotta have something consistent 
but I was just trying to evade not doing my taxes. I was hoping taxes would be easier. Cause it's just like, oh no. But whatever, like job hunting sucks sometimes. I mean, I really had to like, to the point I started getting like that kind of desperation. I had to go back to the food industry. <sighs> I was really like testing all my chances. I didn't wanna, you know what? For me to wanna be a teacher, ironically i kind of didn't because all the schools were so far all the schools that they were trying to get me to go to are like super far out how am i gonna get there and how am i gonna get back like if i'm gonna take like a uber or something god forbid that price like i'm literally taking like there's no way there's no way there's no way that daily pay would be so needed because <laughs> like oh my god how could i even live really how can I save? I'm trying to build up my savings. Like, man, I want my bank to love me again. <laughs> Just like, I want my bank to love me again. Like, they literally told me on my birthday, like, oh, happy birthday. You better put something, put, her, put some birthday money in your, deposit some money. You haven't deposited no money in a long time. Like, <laughs> you're just taking out money at you. Like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> And you know what? I love money. I love money. I love counting it. I love looking at it. I love, <laughs> like, I love it. I love it. I love it. Like, I should have been an accountant like they always told me to be. But, eh, well, actually, well, you know what? That's another thing in the development, though. But I'm like, you know what? Why not? I don't think I'm doing anything too serious. I can squeeze something in my schedule. So I started job hunting, but let me tell you this, I started job hunting in, let me see, so I had to got a, okay, let me see, I think it was like July, July, because I thought I got a job, but then they said that I had the job, but then it was just like, I never got the job. It was interestingly weird, but whatever. Anyway, and it's October now. I don't start, thank God, until the first. <laughs> then, yeah. It's like, you know what? <sighs> I was talking to my brother. He was like, you know, you just gonna have to, like, you gotta crawl before you walk. You know? Like, you know that you are worth you know what you like you know what you can do you know what you like don't stress yourself out but also though if you want a job and you're not getting anywhere with the jobs you really want then you're gonna have to figure something out and i'm like all right fine i got it thanks it's like all i really want to do though is be it like I would like to find a career, to be honest. Like, I would love a career right now. I mean, I know I'm still in school, but I would love a career. Like, <laughs> if I could just be a pa paper pusher, you know, pencil pusher. I I'm just doing, like, you know, the nonsensical bullshit meetings, the boring little, like, <laughs> safe, boring, I'll be there for, like, 40 years and then you die, a la Squidward. Like, there's no, <laughs> just, like, that's all I really want, to be honest. Like, I'm going to get paid really decent. I would like to get, you know what? To be honest, I would like to get paid really nicely that I can go to, like, I, I kind of, I want to travel. Like, I, I just want to travel. I want to chill out and travel. I want to make sure that my family is good. And you know what? <laughs> I'm so good that, you know, my savings are going to be looking good to the point by the time I officially retire, if I can retire early, because, like, and I have a family of my own, and just be, like, full-time, <laughs> so lame, but, like, a full-time mom or whatever, like, my savings would be so good, like, my family would be good, you know what I mean, like, <laughs> just that kind of stuff, but, yeah, job hunting sucks, I don't like the interview process, the interview process gives me hive sometimes. It's like, I don't know how to talk to people. I know I haven't been talking to people outside of like my mom and my brother and like a few friends on the phone because no one lives near me. 
But other than that, I haven't been talking to nobody. I haven't been going outside. Like, <laughs> I, I know my social skills have underdeveloped. It's just, like, the constant, like, oh, we're going to call you. And then they never call you. Or, like, oh, you got the job. But then again, out of nowhere, they decided to not leave the job. So now the position isn't open. Ugh. Are you bilingual? Um, not exactly. <laughs> it's complicated. It's like, my God. Like, my, oh, my schedule? My schedule is so, you know, I only want to do day shift. You know, I used to, and I refuse to work on Sundays. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I, I really do. And it's just, no. I only have, like, a few specific days I don't get off no later than four o'clock. I refuse. Like, I, I really stopped taking a lot of nonsense from my employers because I have respect for myself now. I know how the game works now, so I'm not going to do myself like that. You know, at one point in time, I used to have six jobs all at the same time. Like, it was just like, you know how stressful that was around the clock like that? Like, I don't even know how I did it. Like, oh my god, I nearly killed myself. My doctor looked at me like, if you don't freaking stop. <laughs> if you don't stop. No, the job hunting is fucking stressful. It's stressful. It's just like, the constant rejection. Or, you know, the fault. Like, I don't mind the rejection. The rejection is fine. Or, you get accepted to jobs that you don't want. Like, you ever get accepted to a job you don't want? And now it's like, oh, you know, I, uh, mm, <laughs> I don't, not you guys. Nah, I'm not, I'm not that desperate yet. I'm not that desperate yet. I'm not that desperate yet. I don't even know why I call. I don't even know why I apply. I don't even know why I spent my time filling out that resume, to be honest. Oh, I miss paper resume. I, I miss paper applications. Um, every, doing everything online is annoying. It's absolutely annoying. Like, that is the worst, to be honest. The background checks are fine. I mean, I don't have nothing on my record anyway. Like, <laughs> it's only when they do, like, the past experience thing. Like, oh. And, but you know what? Job hunting may suck, but God really did prevail, to be honest. Because I got a job. It's cool or whatever. <laughs> It's whatever. I'm like a shift manager at some place that I don't eat from because I don't like the food there. But that's going to be helpful for my further weight loss, to be honest. <laughs> it's just like, it's not that far. It's like a two hour walk. And if I was to take a, if I was to get uh, a Lyft or an Uber or something, it's only... I run, it's only like a five minute drive, but if I ever had to walk, God forbid, <laughs> oh, it's like two to three hours, and you know what, that's not, sad, you know what, funny enough, that's not that bad, that's not that bad, it's not that bad, like, just like, it, it's not that bad, and I didn't even think about it until I got asked by my mom earlier today, I didn't even look to see if I had benefits, you know how crazy that is that I didn't even bother to look? Usually, I'm all about benefits nowadays. Like, I didn't even know. Like, <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Because, I mean, as a part-timer, usually you're not, like... You know, they don't tell you anything about benefits. They don't care. They don't care. You, you could damn there. As long as you don't die on the job or get hurt on the job. Like, <laughs> you're fine. You do have, like, a secret insurance or whatever. Like, that's what happened to me when I had got hurt on the job at my first ever job. But that's a long, tedious story once again. I'm fucking rambling. Like, I know I'm rambling. Low key. But it's just... It sucks. It sucks. Like, job hunting sucks. Job hunting is so... So long. So, I, I really wonder how it's gonna go when I graduate from school. That's why my school advisor was like, oh, you know, if you're so bored with school, why don't you also tackle on, you know, some certificates and get some extra, you know, 
extra experience so then your jobs i'm like okay fine so i'm also doing that which is also why my schedule needs to be definitely on point <laughs> god i'm <laughs> like i don't even it's like i love just stressful environments there's something about it i don't know but yeah you know if anyone else out there is going through the job hunting struggle, <laughs> man, you're going to be all right. As long as you have skills or, ooh, if it's your first job, I definitely say, you know, just go for it. Go for it. I don't, I'm not one of those, like, personally, I don't believe in lying on your resume. <laughs> like, honestly. But you know what? If you have any, like, volunteer experience or anything like that. See, I never realized that was such a good thing to put on your resume. Like, they never told us that <laughs> until I got told by my first ever manager. She was like, why didn't you put any of that on there? You could have got a, uh, what did she say? She said, oh, why didn't you put anything on uh, on there? You should have said something. You know, you don't be stupid, stupid. I'm like, oh, <laughs> like my God. Actually, that was my coworker when she said that shit. But like, yeah, my manager was like, oh, you should have said something. You should have said something. You probably would have got a better position, and you wouldn't have been a team member. You probably would have been a. <laughs> you probably would have been a shift lead. You probably would have been this. Da -da 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 -da. You probably would have got hired way faster. Like <laughs> way faster, way faster. Mm. Oh my God. Ah, oh, Mija, you should have said something. Oh my God. <laughs> I get it. Like, I probably would have been hired a lot faster. But I've been, there's, I don't know. It's not the, I think the ghosting is terrible. But the false hiring is what really boils me. It really just kills me, to be honest. Like, don't tell me I'm hired. Don't tell me I'm hired. And then I do a background check and do all this. And then out of nowhere, you go ghost on me. And then out of nowhere, I can't even get into the damn job. Because now out of nowhere, you're no longer... Where are you? And then my... F uh, mm, don't tell me I'm hired when I'm not actually hired. Like, stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I'm just rambling, venting. But I'm thankful, you know, I'm thankful. I'm gonna cash in on that damn insurance though. <laughs> Cause that's that's pretty good. I thought I had to pay out of pocket for that. But like that's cool. I don't know. I mean it's just a job. Like career hunting's gonna be totally different. But hopefully it won't be as annoying as this. It's just what you want is not like a bunch of you want a lot of experience. You don't want a lot of scattered experience, you know? You don't want to explain gaps. I mean, I don't have really any gaps on my resume. But you don't want to explain, you know, why you had this many jobs within two years. You know, I think I had like four, maybe like four or five jobs within like the last two years. Which is funny because I didn't work like all year so technically i really had like four or five jobs like all the same time for one year but it's just it doesn't look good like it doesn't look good it's not good for it's not good for anything like i kind of wish that like my aunt like she has been working her first and only ever job she's ever had has been working for the mail, like, for, um, USPS, whatever, USPS, whatever, and she's been in that job, <laughs> and she's been there for years, like, over, over a decade and some change at this point, like, might even be two decades, like, this shit is, like, she's been in there for so long, and it's just... It's crazy, like, you know, that's a lot of experience, but it's a steady job. Like, it's a steady, it's not even a job anymore, it's a career. 
and it's just like my god that's all i want <laughs> that's all i want when it comes to a job to be honest unless i have my own my own thing but whatever anyway i think that's about it <laughs> let me know what what your job hunting experience is if you haven't got a job yet it's coming soon it's coming soon like don't even sweat it like you got this if you do have a job you know good for you god bless <laughs> like man cause job hunting is an interesting process the interview went pretty chill though the interview went pretty freaking chill not even gonna lie <laughs> it's like I, I can't I can't really like I honestly didn't even I had a feeling I was gonna get the job to be honest like the moment I w like that's the thing you also have to have that mentality if you think about it you need to have that mentality of like you got the job you got the job already you already have the job <laughs> like oh man it, it's just oh man <laughs> you already got the job like my mom she's like so sweet but like as soon as you say like oh i'm going to an interview she's like oh well congratulations like you know like you already got the job like and it just puts you in this kind of mindset of like yeah i got this why am i even tripping for real like i got this i got this i got this and you just have to have that mindset of like whatever you got going on whatever job you're going for you got it like don't even trip and don't let them don't let the empl uh, employer or whatever punk you out either like don't don't go down that path <laughs> that's hella stupid like don't go down that path do not go down that path yeah like seriously like you are not you don't have to be enslaved to the job you don't have to go down on your knees and bow down to this job just to get it okay you really don't there's other jobs out there like you got this like don't let them like oh well you need to do like no <laughs> like i refuse like i refuse to do full time because i don't want to i don't want to do full time just because i don't want to solidify anything i don't want to be like this is my first ever like full time job you know because when i do full time i want it to be a career like that or i'm doing a paid internship which is going to get me into a full-time career like i refuse to do anything else to be honest like no absolutely not but anyway <laughs> remember to always be yourself and god will prevail and you know you got this all right bye <laughs>